all right welcome back to another horror game video so today i got days of night episode one you're freshly 18 and seeking experience in the workforce you struggle to find work until one day the opportunity of lifetime of a lifetime would come your way Little to your knowledge, you would be stepping in a world of horror. Experience the horrors of working night shift at your local grocery store. Alright, so this game is about 10 to 20 minutes. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I think let's just hop right into it, you know, like, like, like we normally do. Alright. Hello, Mr. Boss Man. So... I hear you are interested in working for me? Yeah, we are. Yes, I would love to. Okay. Do you even have what it takes? I... Do we have what it takes? I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, look at you. Well, what do you mean, look at me? I'm fabulous. I'm hair flip fabulous. Then look at me. A bit rude, don't you think? Whatever. Anyways, are you happy with getting paid $3.99 an hour? That is... That is shit. That is I mean, shit. sure, money is money. And also, don't get over time and have to work at least 60 hours a week or I will fire you. 60 hours. Hold on. Hold on. Not including tax, obviously. Bro's only making $240 a week for 60 hours. That's, that is highway robbery. Do you even have what it takes? Can you please stop insulting me? I am a very hard worker. How are you though? Hey, don't give me attitude or I will fire you. I'm sorry. Start at 1 a.m. tomorrow or you're fired. 1 a.m. Guess I got to tell my co-worker their shift is over. Tell your co-worker that their shift's over. Oh, hello. Wow, howdy, partner. Are you the new worker? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Yes. Anyways, it's your time to go home. Oh, finally. I thought this shift would never end. Well, I'm here. I'm young. I'm new. Get out of here. Oh, by the way, be careful. Why? <laughs> okay. I have some tasks to do. Take the trash out. All right. I I guess we're just going to take out the trash now. I don't know why bro's holding it, you know, so far away from himself, but uh is there even a door? There's like a door sound, but there's no actual door. There's a dumpster. Maybe it's over this way. Uh, I will say, really, there's there's a nice little charm with these type of games, you know. Bro, why couldn't I have gone around the other way? Who the fuck? Who are you? Hello, boyfriend. Oh my god, you scared the hell out of me. Oh. <laughs> yes. I missed you and wanted to see you. Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't got a problem. I am glad to see you, but you cannot scare me like that. Seriously, creepo. OMG, we are so done. <laughs> the boss gave me some tasks to do. <laughs> Gotta do some tasks. Bro, it's okay. You you dodged a bit of a bullet, man. They're gonna act like that. Um. Serve customers. All right. Hello. Good evening, sir. You finding everything all right? We got some produce here, you know. Um. 
Okay. Hello, sir. I am here to buy this. All right, very Wait. well. Do I know you from somewhere? No. Please stop harassing me and let me buy my beanie. Okay, dude. Chill. Remember, just check him Whatever. out. Just check him out. Why is everybody running? He's Where is he running rats. to? Get rid of them. Where is he running to? Click on a rat to remove him. Hello? Rat? That's a big ass rat, bro. The boss gave me some tasks to do. Hello, sir. Welcome in. Hello, sir. This is the old York PD. We would like to know if you have seen a man by the name of John. No, I haven't. My brother. Yes. Uh he came Whoa. in not that long ago to buy a beanie. Why? The reason is because he has murdered 39 people in the past 24 hours. 39 people? And we have reason to believe you will be his 40th victim. Oh my god, what do I do? I am scared, help me. Stay calm. I need to get a donut, but give me a call if he happens to swing by. Why aren't you just gonna stake out the area, you weirdo? Where are you running to? Where are you running to? What was that noise? Investigate the noise. Sounded like my girlfriend. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my god. I have to escape into the woods on my right. Woo! Woo! Follow the path through the woods to escape. Johnny Boy's coming! Johnny Boy's coming! <laughs> this, this game's a little silly. I'm gonna be honest. This game's so silly. But I love it. I love it. Run! I ran. I made it. Oh. I got hit by a car. What was that? Where am I? What's that noise? This is a glizzy goblin. Bro's a cannibal confirmed? Ah, uh, I don't know if you want to know what's over there, big boy. Hello? Hello? Dude, this, the pacing of this game is so weird. Save the leg for me. You can eat the feet though. They are gross. To be continued. Um. Yeah. That's. That's. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Okay. Till next time. Okay. We will see. We will see. Yeah, that other game was just a little whack. So, we're going to play another game that's about 15 minutes. It's called Tiki Tiki Moonlit Dread. After a disturbing online article, you set out for a late night grocery run, only to find yourself trapped in a convenience store near a desolate train station. Will you outrun the nightmare or seek salvation in the darkness? So, this game is based around a Japanese urban legend called the Tiki Tiki. Uh, so, the Teki Teki is a Japanese urban legend about the ghost of a schoolgirl, where her body was cut in half by a train after she had gotten stuck. She is an onryo, or a vengeful spirit, who lurks in urban areas around train stations at night. Since she no longer has a lower body, she t travels on her hands, dragging her upper torso and making a scratching, or Teki Teki, 
like sound, produced either by her elbows or the end of her bisected body scraping the ground. If she encounters an individual, she'll chase them and slice them in half at the waist, killing them in such a way that mimics her own disfigurement. All right, well, the only thing to do is just to jump into this, and uh, she's standing there menacingly. Done. What is that? Oh, I can actually control the mouse. What if there's like something hidden? That would be so cool. Hold on, let me do a little scan. Nothing. Okay, it's fine. Read. Mysterious, brutal incident. Man found cut in half with no clues. Uh, sorry if I pronounced names wrong. Asahakawa. Uh, Japan. A man was found with his body cut in half near the station of Asaki, Asakawa City in a shocking incident that has baffled the police. The crime scene was discovered by a passerby who heard a strange noise last Friday night. The victim looked like he was chopped by an axe and blood was everywhere. The police sealed off the scene and investigated, but they have not found any clues or witnesses that could explain what happened. Some people have suggested that the incident may be linked to the urban legend of Teki Teki, a ghost of a woman who was cut in half by a train and now haunts the station areas. She moves by dragging her body with her hands, making a Teki Teki sound and cuts anyone who sees her in half with a scythe or a sickle. However, the police have not confirmed this rumor and are still searching for the truth. They have asked the police to stay calm and alert and to report any suspicious activity and inform them. Related articles. Is the urban legend Tegitegi rumor related to the incident? What is the truth? Residents of Asakawa City are terrified. Uh, debate rages on about the relationship between the incident and the taking taking. This is unbelievable. How could this happen? Another reminder get groceries. Oh shit. Almost forgot to pick up some groceries. Oh, nice little Coke, a little Pepsi. Oh, this game's cool. Can I run? Or is it just raw walking? Alright. Oh, wait. I have to bring the shopping list. Okay, where's the shopping list? Grocery list. Two milk, one olive oil, one white rice, two instant ramen, one cereal, one tea bags, Three snacks, one dish soap. Oh, all right. But... Hello? Okay, it was just a train. I really thought it was like some creepy soundtrack playing. Alright, do we go this way? I thought it was near a train track. No? Okay. Alright, oh, there's the convenience store already. Yeah, see, like, I, I really like that, uh... Well, I should say, I wish that the U.S.'s cities was more, like, walking, biking friendly. I mean, we're very motorized country and it would just be nice to have more quality options like this as well you know I'm like always jealous I see like a little convenience store runs from like Japan or Korea or something and it's like hello that is not good hello 
All right, well, let's get the groceries. Tea bags, white rice. Instant ramen. Hello, how are you? This is, a, yeah, I really like these types of games. They're pretty fun. The milk. Hello? Yes? Why are you following me? A night the old woman's tales come true. Run, young man. Hey, all I'm saying is if a uh, older, older person came up to me and told me to just skedaddle, I'm skedaddling. Like, I'm a little superstitious. So it's like, you know. Dish soap. Dish soap. Oh. Good evening. Good evening, young one. Have you heard about the Teki Teki incident? Um, no, I haven't. Teki Teki, you mean the urban legend? Yes, exactly. You're young, so maybe you're not aware. But it seems that the legend has turned into reality lately. It's absolutely terrifying. Wait, really? What happened? Tonight, right here in this town. If she appears, you won't escape her grasp. Be careful, young one. Be care very careful. Uh, yeah, I'll um, be careful. Ooh. She's really on her game. Wait, where are you going? I'm ready to check out. Goodbye. I need to find this cashier to settle my bill. Can I go behind here? Okay. Hello, cashier. Goes the old woman. Oh, let's go see what she has anything to say. Hello? Well, you have a nice safe walk home. Take care of yourself. Hey, um, uh, I'm, I'm ready to check out. Oh, wait, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I came here to settle my bill. I see. Wait for me a moment. I'll be back soon. So please return to the storefront. Alright, I'm going back. I'm sorry, I just... What the hell? What was that? Holy shit, is there a phone I can call? What is going on here? Good evening, I like to pay for these. Good evening. Are we just gonna ignore that car crash? Your total will be 2,750 yen, please. Excuse me, what's wrong with the old lady? Oh, that old lady is a bit unusual, I think. At night, she often tells strange stories. Strange stories at night? Yeah, no, seriously. Here's your change. Thank you. Dude, I... Okay. Um... Lady, I think... I think you locked the door. Lady? I think you locked the door.
What is that noise? Is it cause I didn't check on the person? Train ticket. What is that? What? No. No fucking way, bro. No fucking way. Oh. Oh, I need a second. I need a second. Okay. No fucking way. What is going on here, man? <laughs> oh, hello? Dude, I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. Hold on. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? You little pitter patters. Hello? WHAT WAS THAT?! Dude. 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 <laughs> All right, we gotta get the other ending. We gotta get the other ending. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. It's so scary. What was that? What was that? Oh, I need a moment. Okay. Alright, we took... a little break. That was... That was so scary, dude. That was so scary. I'm gonna inspect a little bit. Alright. Give me the note. Give me the note, you fucking weirdo. Train ticket. Yep, you're gonna... You can knock up the glass. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Knock on the glass. So we know she's not in here with us. That we do know. Oh, dude, I hate that sound. Ah! Okay. 
We're gonna try looking around back this time. Remember, hold shift to run. Generate my stamina. Fuck, run. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game was so bad. This game was so bad. Me, yeah, get out of here. Ending two survived. Game created, developed by Mohammed B. Shifa. That was great. I hated that. Look at their little dead body. <laughs> Get fucked, bozo. All right. Well, if you liked the video, yeah, subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any recommendations. I really appreciate people for watching. Uh, thank you for playing. Well, thank you for watching. All right. Everybody have a good one. Goodbye.